What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. The actual word around the campfire is Beyonce. She went at Kanye head like she was hot when Kanye mentioned her name. She was like shocked, then she went to being hot about the situation and the fact that she couldn't really respond the way she wanted to. You know, she was going through what she was going through as far as her pregnancy and all of this stuff. So she definitely didn't want anything to do with Kanye West as far as reconciling the situation. She don't want Jay. Jay is acting out like I'm upset because he mentioned my family. Jay didn't really go there until B went there. And because B is still on that level, that's the reason this conversation hadn't, they haven't had the conversation. Because it's like, why wouldn't you have that conversation? He he has to know you went too far. And, and we'll have that conversation. You know, it's just, it's like, when when you going to have the conversation? Because you just said, <laughs> he went too far. And that's why we have it this much time and space has went past. Unless you like, we putting you on time out. And we'll talk to you when we feel like it. Or when B calms down. Enough to say, you know what? You can talk to him and squash it. But as far as working with him again... I'm like, all right, <laughs> that's your choice, your decision. Um, I really don't see a big problem with the situation, so I'm on the outside looking in. Like, I had no problem with what he said. It just threw egg on Beyonce's face because everybody looks at her as the princess who could do no wrong. But then you see the political side also. And when you see that political side, everybody like, whoa. See, I knew Beyonce was on something. See, and once they say, once he said that, it put it in a whole nother light. Even though Kanye got to understand, this is an award show, man. It's people awarding people and giving people gratification with trophies. Doesn't mean anything. But... People want to win something. You know, it's just like winning a title in a boxing match or getting a gold medal or coming across the track first. You want to be rewarded. You need that pat on that back to say good job. To keep you fuel, to fuel that ego, to keep going. You want to get that pat on the back, that recognition. You want the Wheaties box. And she was rigging the game. And that's the part Kanye didn't like. Because he championed for her when he thought she should have won for single ladies. And they gave it to Taylor Swift. And he championed for her. He risked his career and everything else for Beyonce. And then... Here it is, his turn, where him and Drake had basically the hottest video out. And they were going to give her the award for formation. And they knew Kanye was going to lose it. So they told him in advance that he wasn't going to win. And he just wasn't comfortable with that. So, in hindsight, they just didn't want him making a fool of himself on stage at the awards. So... That's what that really was about. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy Carcino, man. I'm out. Do you think Beyonce is ever going to forgive Kanye West? Hit, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think. I'm out.